Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Meg Turney. CES is shaking off the dust and getting underway this week, and before the show floor even opens, news of cool new stuff came spilling out of Sin City. Let's start with some brand new panty tech because reasons. Controlling your own vibrating panties is so 2000 and late, and thanks to sex toy company Oh My Bod, who announced their new Bluetooth controlled vibrating panty insert, you don't have to anymore. The Blue Motion Massager, as they're calling it, can be controlled by you or your partner using a smartphone so long as they're in Bluetooth range. Users can even record their voice or favorite song for up to 60 seconds to create unique vibration patterns. Because what someone is saying is what you're worried about when your panties are all a buzzing. This buzzing little beauty will set you back 129 big ones and the company is looking to add long range options later this year. It's like hue bulbs for your hoo-ha. In a different kind of sexy news, graphics giant Nvidia unveiled their Tegra K1 chip which boasts 192 cores. Can I get an amen? Now according to Nvidia, the Tegra K1 will be the bridge that will bring PC graphics to mobile devices. And to back up that claim, they also announced that Epic Games will be bringing the Unreal Engine 4 to the K1. It's really exciting to see better than console quality gaming at your fingertips being made into a reality. But before you rip off your pants in excitement and unveil your vibrating panty insert, there's been zero word on when we can see the chip out and about in the wild. Also, no word on cost. So it's really, really promising, but we've got no timeline or dollar figures yet. And finally, in super cool gaming news, CyberPower PC got the Steam Box ball rolling by unveiling their two variations on the Steam Machine. The cheaper Steam Machine A rocks a 3.9 GHz A6 CPU from AMD with a 2 GB Radeon R9270 graphics card and 8 GB of RAM. It'll set you back 499 big ones. But if that's not enough power for you, allow me to introduce you to Steam Box I, which rocks a 3.5 GHz Core i3 with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760, which I think is a really good choice because I'm rocking a 780 and my new monster. The beefier model will set you back 699 bucks and both are expected to ship later this year. Speaking of CES, our own lovely Trisha Hirschberger is there and she sent us this. All right, so I'm super excited. We are here at CES. This is my hotel room. Yes, you're getting a sneak peek. For those of you who have never been there before, there are a couple must packs. The first thing that you have to pack is business cards. Yep, I got my uh, DeFranco Network shiny ones right here. Now you need business cards because you're gonna meet all different types of people on the floor. Some business maybe that you're not even interested in, but a lot of them have drawings and giveaway if you just drop your business card. Plus, if you meet a really sexy booth, babe, it's a really cool way to slip a your number. Another must pack for CES or any convention for that matter is a portable battery pack. Fully charged, of course, and ready to go for the day. If you don't want your phone to die after two or three hours, make sure to remember your battery pack. Now, please don't forget your comfy shoes. The Las Vegas Convention Center is one of the biggest convention centers in the world, and CES spills over also to the Venetian and the Wynn and outdoor venues and all different types of stuff. So you're going to be walking everywhere. These are my comfy shoes that I will be wearing. Fashionable, I know. You also want to make sure to bring a small, very quiet camera. I like to use my cell phone because it doesn't make a lot of noise if it's on mute. Some booths are a little bit more strict about photography than others, but if you see a really cool new product and you want to remember where the different ports, etc., are on it, you can just kind of like stealthy sneak and take a little snapshot and then you can look at that again later. Now your comfy shoes are for during the day, but at night you need a solid party outfit. At CES, nerd parties abound, so make sure you've got your uncomfy shoes, your party outfit. Uh, if you're a dude, I, I mean you could bring a dress, I just brought a dress for me. A lot of networking can be done at these parties. It's a good time at clubs that are usually reserved for billionaires and models, but you as a nerd can get in this week, my friends, so make the most of it. So that's it. Um, I'm super excited for CES this week, and I hope that you guys are too. Make sure to stay tuned to SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd for all the latest on the CES news. It's time for me to iron my shirt. For more coverage of CES this week, you can check out SourceFed Nerd, where we've already posted a video on why you should attend. So guys, what's most exciting? Vibrating panty inserts or sweet graphics on your cell phone? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can always check out SourceFed.com for everything we've ever done. I'm Meg Turney. I'd like to blow my nose now, please.